Derby's crisis will make Wayne Rooney a better manager after Mel Morris' struggle. Wayne Rooney has been in some holes during his long and colorful career, but the one he now finds himself in is the deepest of them all. His first managerial job has turned into a living nightmare as the ramifications of Derby's financial plight get laid bare. The championship club were docked 12 points this week for entering administration, but this could be just a tip of an iceberg now melting faster than the planet itself. The Football League are investigating alleged breaches of spending rules and have proven the Rams will be hit with a further nine-point deduction leaving them staring into the abyss of League One. A scenario that would make the club even less appealing to a potential new owner. The Blaine game has got into Phil Swing, and not for the first time in his life, Rooney is pulling no punches. He has laid it squarely at the door of former owner Mel Morris following an astonishing, brutal and honest attack on the beleaguered English businessman. Rooney has accused Morris of being disrespectful, rude and refusing to speak to him. The former England and Manchester United legend became so desperate he had to borrow the club doctor's mobile phone and call Morris just to get him to answer. This isn't what Rooney signed up for and admits that, had those who offered him the job in the first place been honest about the club's situation at the time, he wouldn't have accepted it. Mel Morris has put a lot of money into the club, and he deserves a lot of respect for that, but there is a way of handling things, being open and honest, and that did not happen, so I was a little bit disappointed, said Rooney. I heard Mel do a radio interview, and he said exactly the same things in that interview as he did in the meeting with the players and staff. In my opinion it wasn't sincere, it wasn't heartfelt enough, and it wasn't done with enough honesty. In one fell swoop this week Rooney has shown the sort of bottle and leadership qualities Morris has lacked. Rooney will feel like telling Morris to stuff his job and head back to Cheshire, but knows he has no option but to stick around and fight what promises to be a long and demanding battle. He knows he has a responsibility to himself, his players and his staff to lead by example, but his decision to call out Morris shows he can be the person all those mentioned above want and need him to be. Scoring goals on the pitch came naturally to Rooney, but he is now swimming with sharks in deep, deep waters that are still unfamiliar to him. Talk about learning a new trade at the sharp end? It won't feel like it now, but in time Rooney will come to realize that the crisis he's now having to front up to will make him a better man and a much better manager. He'll be wiser for the experience, and it could be the making of him. Harry Kane has the perfect chance to win back some trust from Tottenham supporters when his side face Arsenal at the Emirates this afternoon. The season might be just a few weeks old, but Kane is spending the credit he has in the bank faster than Liberace on speed. For the first time since 2015-16, Kane has failed to score in his first four Premier League appearances. But what is even more alarming, and England boss Gareth Southgate take note, is the fact he looks lost, disinterested and despondent. To be blunt, Kane looks like someone who is sulking because he didn't get his dream move to Manchester City this summer. Kane is better than this, but he needs to start proving it and can start by pulling his finger out to help Spurs beat their North London rivals and stop what is beginning to look like an alarming slide. Nuno Santos men have suffered successive 3-0 defeats in the league and slumped from the top of the table to seventh. Kane is his side's focal point, figurehead and inspiration, but he's nothing of the sort right now, and unless this changes, Spurs and Santo have a major problem. Good week Tammy Abraham, the Chelsea reject can't stop scoring for his Roma and is reveling in a love-in with the fans. An England recall could be on the cards. Heather Knight, her classy century inspired England to their highest successful run chase in a one-day international as they beat New Zealand by three wickets to clinch the five-match series with a game to spare. Johanna Kanta has pulled out of the upcoming WTA tournaments in Chicago and Indian Wells with a groin problem, adding to the belief that she's becoming the forgotten star of British women's tennis. Bad week Conor McGregor, the UFC star stepped up to the plate to throw a pitch at Wrigley Field but missed it by a country mile when the ball ended up near the crowd. What a burk. Romeo Beckham, supporters were left less than impressed following his professional debut for Fort Lauderdale. Perhaps being the son of a footballing legend is not all it's cracked up to be. Adrian Lamb, his tenure as Wigan Warriors head coach ended in a whimper as his side crashed out of the Super League playoffs to Leeds without scoring a single point 